Hey there, and welcome to this small tutorial on how to use and utilize your rotation in Star Wars The Old Republic. This one specifically is for priority rotations, I'll explain what is it uh, in a second. Uh, and I'll be using Mercenary Arsenal for its uh, one of the specific rotations. There are a few of them. I'll be using the one that I, I consider the easiest to learn, while still poking up a decent amount of DPS. So, let's start, let's start discussing the rotation itself. As you see on my quick bars, some of the skills are repeating itself. It's on purpose, as this quick bar here is sort of a, let's say, a helper in seeing the rotation. After some time, you'll find yourself not using it anymore, maybe sometimes, as you'll feel by heart your rotation once you learn it properly and get used to it. But yeah, so how it goes. From the left are the most important, and here that's where the rotation ends. This one, this one is just a help, helper, like a heal, so I can self heal or someone else. You don't really should do that. In, for example, nightmares. If a DPS has to heal someone, that means the healers are weak. Uh, but we're not gonna take care of it uh, at this time. From the left to the right, most important, least important. We have all those, and then the last one, Rapid Shots, is a filler. Sometimes, for some reason, people are afraid of using regular attack because, oh, it's weak. If you have it as a filler, it's useful. I'll show you later on why. So, before you start with the fight, in this case, in terms of mercenary, you want to build up your stacks of supercharge. For that, you can use the Culto Shot, as it doesn't cost any heat or anything. Killers have it a little bit easier. They can actually use... A rapid scan as it also gives it. On the DPS it gives you only one stack, In on the healer it gives you two. Which is quite interesting and, and important there. Okay, boom. Now why the uh, supercharged gas is is, uh, is uh, ready, I can start up my fight using the Electronet. Target is vulnerable. Hit Sukar missile and just keep following. Now I skip the rail shot. Railshot procced me uh, Tracer Missile. Boom. Basing bots are available again. Oh, and I forgot to use the Super Shoot Gas. Anyway. Then back this again. Then I keep using Tracer. Procs again. And stuff. This is supposed to show you how, how it feels, kind of, how you follow the priority rotation. Whatever I have available, I've been following it. Now. While explaining, I obviously cannot keep up with the rotation itself, because many of the buffs you're using during the fights are just basically going away, like you've seen, seen just a second ago. So I'll do the beginning of the rotation, then I'll show you a video when I'm actually fully performing. Well, at the end I'm gonna show it, I'm just gonna check myself and show the whole thing. So I'm building up stacks again. Boom, I have 10. Let's actually wait for the Electronet. You're not gonna start a boss fight on an operation with <laughs> with the Electronet. For those that wonder, this is specifically made from my, for, for, for my guild, <clears throat> which I have here, uh, as it recently came back to doing operations and you have many new people new to the operation that are very excited to do so. So I'm trying to use my own experience from the past for years of making operations, both nightmares and whatever you want to call it, because they keep changing the names, uh, to help out, sort of, just with the ex pure experience. Okay, so now I have the stacks built up, let's use the Electronet, I'm gonna shut myself, try to catch up with the rotation, not to make a mess of my speeches. As you see, I'm following the rotation, skipping the rail shot, the rail shot, you'll see in a moment, that it will proc. Boom. Now I use it. Yes, I had Hitsukai Missile. I should technically use it first because it was available. If you skip it, like I just did, it's not that important. As long as you will not stop your rotation completely. Because if you stop, you lose tons of DPS and debuffs. Uh, and debuffs on the, on the bosses that you're using. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm on Drummond Cast and you, I can't really see my rotation <laughs> properly. Anyway, so now that I'm following my rotation, I just keep going, keep going. As you see, the heat uh, is not that big of a deal. Oh, you see? 
As soon as the supercharged gas was available for me, I used it. Yeah? When, for example... Because, as you notice, Tracer Missile procs Blazing Bolts and makes them available instantly. It just shortens the cooldown to zero. But is that always the case? Check out now. I recently used it, so it's not available yet, so it didn't proc this time. But at least I have this one. Hit Sekar. Also, Priming Shot, that's important for the Mercenaries. Priming Shot procs Tracer Missile, which is instant, while it's proc like this. And that's what you usually want to use. If it's unavailable, you cannot proc it because Priming Shot is on cooldown. Let's say it still is, I know it's going away. I like to use the Power Surge, because that, that makes it instant anyway, which is a good thing. Uh, let's just keep following the final steps. Now, if at some point you're gonna have problems overheating, that does not necessarily mean you're doing something wrong. Yes, you shouldn't technically overheat, you can have a slip up. Everyone can have a slip up, doesn't matter how experienced you, you are. Because there's one primary rule you want to know about rotations. There is no perfect rotation, you can always improve something about it. Uh, but like I said, I'm using the simple one, which I hopefully, hopefully, hope it's actually simple. Which I made in the past, not, not recent past. Uh, so yeah, you just keep going. When you're having the overheating uh, problem, or you're just on a burn phase and you're burning everything you can, from the rotation, we have more skills, which you don't want to use them too often because something they're actually gonna take out, take away your DPS. What you want to use is obviously the vent heat, which will uh, instantly vent most of my heat 50. Let's actually build up heat on purpose. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> okay, this is silly. Let's actually do something which gives me more heat. There we go, there's the heat. Boom, I vented. And you keep on going. You can kind of uh, reserve it for your rotation. What does it mean? Is sometimes you can do a semi burn during your rotation. If you see that bosses, let's say 50%, you can keep hitting it. You can burn yourself a little bit more, making the burn phases. If you have this one available, you can include it in the rotation, for example, okay, every one and a half minutes, I can burn on myself and get some heat that way, but uh, increase my DPS, yeah? Then you use it and you go in circles with it. Also, what's worth mentioning about the supercharged gas, it also vents your heat. Not by much, but it does. So it's not only giving you buff, increases armor penetration, able supercharged gas effect, but it also vents your heat, which is good. Uh, that's basically it from the explanation of the rotation itself. And also what's worth mentioning, many of you probably are familiar with the buffs specific for the class. Like, for example, if I build the 10 stacks of supercharged gas, not only the supercharged gut itself will be available. Oh, come on, build up. Thank you. But also, supercharged celerity. This, if I'll use it, like it says in the description, it will uh, it will give uh, operation group members within 40 meters increasing alacrity for by 10 seconds. Where you want to use it most of the time is in the burn phase. And usually all the classes which have them available will use them. What I prefer to do during operations, I'm talking from my experience and what we did with the guilds in the past uh, during nightmares, is if you have two people of the same class, like for example, let's talk about mercenaries in that case, or sorcerers, but let's stick to mercenary. Obviously, the, heal the healer has this one, and the DPS has this one. Now, you can use only one per whole rate, so if one mercenary launches it, the other one cannot, even if he has the stacks. So what you want to do, preferably, 
is the healer is launching supercharged celerity as it is not that important to keep the supercharged gas uh, in the rotation there because that's for healing you're not necessarily gonna take the damage so you don't have to burn yourself as healer non-stop you want the DPS to use the supercharged gas while the other one is using supercharged celerity because this is this will significantly increase the DPS uh, and that's what you want to do in the burn phase, obviously. But that's, like I said, that's how we did it. Nobody has to agree with it, but in my opinion, it kind of saves the hassle. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it. Also, don't get worried too much about the I rating adjustment. It's still kind of confusing for many people. It has its bugs. Uh, and in operations, at least for now, apart from the new operation, you will be having it uh, most of the time, most of the fights. Only the new operation, as far as I know, only the new operation and new flashpoints have actual level 75. You're not down leveled by this whole thing. Okay, now, now I will shut myself down. Maybe I'm gonna make some commentary. I'm gonna launch a video which I prepared uh, when I'm performing for about five minutes. What's worth noticing towards the end of the video, I'll just show you in a second, is that you can aim your burst. If you learn, your, uh, to learn yourself to aim your burst, uh, you can increase your dip DPS significantly while not having to worry that um, you're gonna burn yourself and overheat, or in your in case of a sorcerers or whatever force users, you're gonna use up all your force. Yeah, let's call it the force burst. It has the basic same effect in those 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 type of classes. Mm. And I was aiming for uh, around five minutes of rotation in the video I'll be showing. It ended up at four fifty, I think, something like it. Uh, which is good enough. If you can aim that close, that's good. That means your aim is basically really good. And so you're expecting yourself to overheat at some point, but by that time, you should be, you should already be uh, finishing the boss. And uh, because you're using timers in raids anyway to count the, for the enrages or the skills, the certain skills that the boss is using, you will be able to pretty much pinpoint where you want to use those things. Okay, without further ado, let's just skip to the video. I 
did. Mm -hmm. I could break your steam kissel just by praying. Now stick? Ooh. I could make you wish you could be a pain. Now my stick, uh -oh. my stick, my stick, my stick is better than bacon. Ooh. Look at that, you can't touch my stick. I know what you're stick. You've seen just a second ago how here during the rotation I was using rapid shots. That was the filler I was mentioning. Sometimes it's not worth building up your heat. Uh, just use your rapid shot. You will not use that much DPS and you will be able to regain it to the to the level you've been going for. As you can see I still have around 15k DPS. Even that I use rapid shots, if I remember, around three times. Oh, like all right now. That's the purpose of the filler. It doesn't have to be rapid shots, it can be anything else. I sometimes use a filler the tracing, the uh, tracer missile as a filler. I prefer using rapid shots as like I said it doesn't build up heat and it still gives me those stacks I want. Now this is the last minute and that's when I was starting to do the burn. As you see my hit is pretty, pretty hot. So I'm trying to compensate for it, as this is pretty much towards the end of the fight. So I'd still be able to use the skills I, I desire. See, I'm waiting for the cooldown. Boom. And it should be enough to finish off the boss if you're aiming for it. And that's pretty much it. Let's pause it. Right, so that was pretty much it. As you've seen, like I said, none of the rotations are perfect. Plus, I was making some minor errors there, uh, which also might have reduced my DPS slightly. But like I said, the most important thing to remember is try not to break your rotation. Just keep going, because if you stop and you start start over, that will make you lose the DPS. Especially if you pause to think, oh god, I actually uh, I actually screwed up something in the rotation. Uh, so yeah, so there's that as well. For those viewers who are a little bit more experienced, including the guildies, you noticed I don't have any steam and it's Tim in that video. Uh, I don't use anything special, kind of on purpose. So, people that are just starting will not get overwhelmed with everything. Just try to introduce yourself to more and more elements of the mechanics. I will do um, later, like a follow up video later on, if it's needed even, uh, with everything I do normally, for example, for nightmares. Yeah? And using the stems and all the other skills. The other thing which is very important while doing your rotations, regardless of the class and stuff, is knowing your skills, what each of them does, what do they give you, and based in short, knowing your class by the heart, which is not as difficult to do as many people think. For example, why, why do I always uh, wait for the rail shot? because it's significantly more powerful when it procs. How do I know when it procs? Each act it is actually not randomized, so that you know the arsenal uh, in that case uh, will know what I mean, because if you use the tracer missile, it builds up tracer lock. 
if you get five stacks of it, let me build it, build it up. It will always proc, and this will drastically increase the DPS of the skill itself. Every class has its own type of thing that procs in that in that way. You build up some stacks or whatever. Uh, and it procs something. Like for example, Assassin has the Discharge, which has three stacks of I don't even remember the buff how it's called. As long as I know where it is where to look for it, how it looks, that's the thing. I will do a other video on the Assassin as well. Because I know that many of you will use 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 assassins in the in our guild. So that that's pretty much it. Oh also some of you may have noticed I used Chef Flare two or three times, I don't remember. It was the call it a muscle memory as I'm a, you always want to try to lose your aggro while in the operation because if you're at some point a good DPS you will pull aggro from the tank which gonna make them have a headache uh, heads up from Mitsuki here uh, what was worth mentioning about that part many of the skills that include supercharged gas uh, chaff flare uh, and plenty of others. I don't re really remember by the heart which ones w were there. They don't have global cooldown penalty. So, for example, if I'm doing something, let's just use random skills, whatever, blah blah blah. Notice that my bar, which I like to call defensive cooldown bar, notice that many of those are just completely ignoring the global cooldown. Including chaff flare, so I can actually use skill during chaff flare. I can drop this thing. Yes, it will interrupt your skills, but which doesn't change the fact that you don't have the penalty of global cooldown. So you can literally do it between the skills. That's why, for those that have been observing the rotation, would notice that sometimes it kind of seems like I'm using. Supercharged gash at the same time as blazing balls without waiting for it. The time I wait is literally the time that takes me to push the button to do it. I hope I covered it all. Uh, like I said, this is specifically for those that are new to the thing. Older players maybe find something useful here. I'm pretty sure all of you that have lots of experience in operations, especially the nightmare people, uh, know all this stuff. Anything may be no even better, but that's kind of the whole purpose. You learn something new every time. I like to be corrected in those things. I like to have pointed out uh, things myself because that, in the end, makes you better. Uh, if you have any questions, if you're a random user that just found this video, feel free to ask in the comments section. As for my guild for the Immortal Fleet, uh, you can always ask me if you see me online on Silly or Modluco. Uh, you can always ask me. Uh, questions if I'm available I will always ask them and if I'm not available I will ask them later that's also why we have the discord so you can actually ask me there mm, I think I covered everything at least for the beginning probably this video ended up longer than I expected uh, and well I'll see you in game or in another video bye for now Touch my 